The absolute best way to learn any software is to jump in and create something out of nothing and it looks like this. I know it's a fun, quirky way to learn Canva. Let's jump in and create this beautiful, well, I don't know about beautiful, but this fun lion together using shapes on Canva. So from your home page, you're going to select presentation and with presentation, you're going to create a blank presentation. Once you have your blank canvas of your presentation, you're going to upload a picture that you would have drawn yourself, or you could use the one that I have saved on the description below. And you can just attach the picture to your canvas so that it's going to help guide us as we design this uh, awesome looking lion. So you click on it once and you paste it. You drag it so that it fills the page like this. Don't worry about being perfect. You, you're trying to learn this software so that you are awesome at Canva. So once you have your picture background like this, you're going to go to your elements and then you're going to start designing. So today's tutorial is all about shapes. We're going to learn shape, twist shapes, make color with shapes, make them small, make them big. So we're going to play around with shapes. By the time we're finished, you'd be comfortable with using shapes. So we're going to start with the body of the lion and we're going to use a shape that looks like this. So you're going to go to your elements and you're going to click on see all. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to look for a shape that resembles the body of the lion. This one, you're going to click on it once and it is the pipe looking shape. We're going to change color. So with the shape, it comes with two colors. We're going to click where it says color and you're going to make your lion whatever color you want. So I'm going to make mine orange. I'm going to make this one orange as well. And there's the body of our cute little lion that we, we've created. Don't worry about being perfect. And then we're going to put in the face. You're going to go back to elements and you're going to look for the face for the lion. So I used this shape and you click and you drag and you put it on the face. So in order for me to differentiate the colors, I'm going to make the face a different color. So have fun with it. Go with it. Do whatever makes you happy. With the ears, I use the circle. So whenever you're working with shapes, C is a circle. So you just click on C once and then it creates a circle. Change that color to white and make that the ear for our lion. And then the position of the ears, as you can see, is in front. So another tip that you're learning is if you click on the shape itself you can select position and you say backward and you do exactly the same with the other shape or you could right click and you say send to backward or backward sends once um, send back sends all the layers behind so now let's create the big row for the lion and we're going to go back to our shapes and we're going to look for that sunshiny one this one and we're gonna put it over there we're gonna change color and make it brown let's see and we send it backward send to back and then it sends to all shapes so now we can see that we're gonna change the color I'm gonna look for a different color let's say orange so that Canva gives me different kinds of oranges they I like this orange. It says Rah, like a lion. Now I want to put in eyes and the mouth and the nose. So with the eyes, I'm going to use the circle. I'm going to say C and it gives me the circle. And I change color to black or brown. And then another C 
Okay, let's just copy this little one and then send it backwards. So what you're doing here, you're learning to uh, use shapes. While you're doing this, you're learning the skill of Canva using your shapes. So with the nose, you're going to scroll down and look for that shape that looks like the face. And you make a nose out of it and you make it smaller. So let's go find the face. Make it smaller. And then we go to our shapes and we look for those lines so that we can make the lion's whiskers. If you can, it is whiskers, hey? Yeah. And you change color, let's change color for that one and make it white so that it's visible. You click and you send it backwards. And you click on the side and you move it. Duplicate that for the other side. So now you would like to change the, let's see if the whiskers is at the back, send it backward. And there's your lion laughing and whatnot. Now with the legs, we look, we're going to look for that pipe shape, this one. And you click on it once and you change color and you make it brown or same as the body. So it gives two colors. I want this one to be orange and I want this one to be the darker orange or the legs. So that it looks like that and you just copy you undo if you made a mistake you copy that and you duplicate the legs control V and control C or CMD uh, on your Mac and the lion's legs are done now we are going to create the trees and the stars so if you would like to create the nice roundy shape of the tree you just go circle again change color so that you have the different color of a tree so trees are green hey <laughs> and then you duplicate your tree so that it looks like that so one trick i want to show you is when you're working with canva and I know we're all about shapes today, but we're going to cheat a little bit. If you're on the shapes and size and sh lines and shapes, you're going to close the shapes and lines. And you're going to search for it. I want you to learn the, how to add graphics on your designs. So you're going to search for a tree trunk. And then it gives you different kinds of options that are available. You just click on graphics so that it gives you only graphics. And then you go and you search and you find the free one because our design is free. And you click on it once and you drag. And there's your tree. You want to send it back, you say send to back. And our tree is done. Next, we're going to have fruits on our tree. So we're going to go circle. The fruits are going to be red. We change color to red. And we can make it smaller or bigger. And you just duplicate and you add the oranges or apples. Or So the last thing you're going to do is to fix the background and add the grass. So we would like to add a rectangle. 
So you would press R on your keyboard to add a rectangle. And once you've added the rectangle, you can change the color and make it gray. And you make it a little bit smaller so that it covers the bottom page of your design and you send it backwards or send to back and your lion in the tree is over there and then you add another rectangle another R this one you're going to make it black covers your full canvas and then you change the color to black and then you'd send it to back and your line is almost done. What's missing is the moon. We want the circle. We add the moon, we change color of the moon, we make it gray, and then we go and we add the grass. We go to our elements, and then we go to our shapes, and we look for grass on the shapes. So this could be nice graph. You click on it once, and you change the size and we make it also gray it doesn't show we make it black and you can just duplicate the grass or you can make it green whatever color have fun with it it's your design hope you're learning canva and you're having fun with me there's the grass i think the tree the fruit fell on the floor I just think so. Last thing I'm going to add stars. So stars, there we go. There's a star. And then you change color of the star. And you make the different color shapes of your stars. By copying and pasting and you plunk them all over the place. So at the end of your design you have a lion it's smiling at you. You can create any animal in order for you to just learn the shapes and adding and playing around in the software so that you get better with it. You can jump in on the next tutorial to watch how to create amazing layouts using grids on Canva.